In this video, I'll demonstrate three different ways to code the final pass for the slot. First, I'll code the center of the tool. Then I'll code the center of the tool and add where compensation. And lastly, I'll write the code using cutter compensation and programming the slot coordinates. The final roughing pass ended with the cutter as shown here at the end of the slot. So the first thing I'll code is a counterclockwise arc, which sweeps through 180 degrees, ending with the cutter positioned to cut the slot to its final size. The incremental distance the cutter will travel in the x positive direction is 35 and a half thou, so the radius will be half of this. The cutter will next feed the length of the slot, moving in the y positive direction incrementally an inch and a half. We'll clean up the end by cutting another counterclockwise arc, whose radius is half the difference between the slot width and the cutter diameter. Now the cutter will move the length of the slot in the negative y direction. Then cut the final part radius, arc off the wall so as not to leave a witness mark, and wrap it out of the slot. To use wear compensation when cutting the slot, I'll add a G41D01 to the code here. Initially, the value stored in D01 should be zero. If the slot is not wide enough, then a negative value equal to half the amount the slot is undersized should be stored in D01. For example, if a reground cutter is used and the slot is 5 tau undersized, Negative two and a half thou should be entered into D01 to compensate for the smaller cutter because cutter compensation left has been used. If the slot size is oversized by five thou, then positive two and a half thou would be entered into the first diameter offset register. To code the final pass and use radius compensation, I would rewrite the code to now use the part geometry coordinates as shown here. If tool deflection was causing an unacceptable taper to the walls, I would add one or more spring passes. Spring passes are used to help remove taper from a part such as this. To add a spring pass, I simply add the code to take the final pass twice or however many times is necessary to remove the taper. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to code a slot when it must be straight and the tool cannot be allowed to wander off center.